on the chat here try and make sure that we don't miss an answer or slow anybody down watching the chat here and it looks like uh, Dom has come in with an answer of 64 pounds 64.1 pounds that is not correct that is not correct so Dom is going to have to look at his model and see if he can't figure out what's going on with this model uh, Pedro coming in with an answer 8.227 pounds that is not correct not correct within tolerance so now both of our runners have answered incorrectly one time and now both of our runners can look through their models and see if they can't figure out uh, what went wrong. Uh, but anything more than that, uh, you could be, you could be gone, right? So you could be giving up the, yeah, you could be giving up the point. Yeah, yeah, it's tight, and yeah, I mean, with uh, with Dom being down here now, um, it, it can go either way. I mean, it's yeah, it's just another part, and maybe two more parts, and that's it. So he could easily make a comeback here. It just it just depends. Yep, it could go either depends way. Depends what the wheel of fate is going to give him. Yeah, it really does. I mean, the Wheel of Fate can really be cruel, but I got to tell you, I'm so thankful to be here with you today, uh, to be here with everyone in the chat, and to be watching these matches between these guys that are seated so close together. Because, I mean, we saw in the first match how close they were, uh, and we saw in the second match how close they were, and I just love seeing how it's like neck and neck the whole time. It makes it so exciting, so... Yeah. Whew. All right, I'm going to shake it off. I'm getting a little too excited, too, getting a little nervous. So here we go. <laughs> this next matchup between... Pedro Tavares and Dom, number seven seed, our inventor user from Brazil, going up against our number 10 seed, SolidWorks user from the United States. Let's go. This next battle begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in x.xx pounds? Once again, we're doing a pounds model. Guys, I know that the love the, the, the love for pounds is in the chat there. This is in pounds. It's ABS, 1020 kilograms per cubic meter for the density. This is a pounds model. Inches and pounds. We're working in inches on this one. Both of our runners are already into it. So let's flip over. We always get a little bit of extra clapping for inches models. So uh, congratulations for inches. The wheel of fate is cruel. And let's see how these guys approach this one. I think it's really interesting that both the Inventor user on the left and the SolidWorks user on the right are creating almost an identical sketch here. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Just a, a mirror image of each other. Yeah. They both started out here kind of on this front plane, creating the, the two rings, creating the, the slotted section that's sticking out. Who's going to be the first one to create solid geometry? Looks like it's going to be Dom. Or maybe not. It looks like... Uh, <laughs> SolidWorks, <laughs> SolidWorks decided this should be a thin feature. <laughs> Love it when yep. it does that. Yeah. An inventor on the left, uh, maybe struggling a little bit to get that geometry fully constrained. I got to say, Dom has a lot of experience uh, working through some of these Toby models, kind of knows what to look for as far as getting these models constrained. So he was able to quickly get in there and get that first sketch in place. Uh, looks like Pedro is opting to create all of that layout geometry for that upper section in that first sketch. So he's going to let Dom move ahead, get a couple of features in place and, and hope to kind of recoup that. Yeah. That's what I was thinking when I was looking at this too. It's, it's kind of a simple part, but there's a lot of things happening and you could end up doing a lot of sketches and um, you could, you know, you could get a lot of them in a layout sketch and I don't, I don't know which would be faster, but the opportunity is definitely there. Yes, yes. The the layout geometry works great unless you end up with a little uh, surface protruding through into the inside, and then it can start to be a little problematic. But wow, look at Pedro. He went from having just a sketch to having all those features already created. He's basically neck and neck with Dom again. I looked over at Dom's screen just for a second. I looked at the chat. I looked back at Pedro's screen, and, and wow, he's, he is uh, cruising through this model now. That was yeah. really an impressive showing of, of uh, Autodesk Inventor. And uh, let's see how he handles some of these features. We got this slot up top. Uh, looks like Dom was able to create the, that kind of like main boss and then use a slot to cut it out. And now uh, Pedro has gone in and created uh, more of the view from the side here for these slots. Let's see how he handles this. It's kind of interesting. It's almost like he's sketching uh, that fillet, I guess, just to locate that slot. Okay, makes sense. We see yeah, they're very close to each other. Yes. Yeah, we see Dom getting that slot in place as well. 
And wow, look at Pedro on the left. Already, I didn't even realize he already had that slot going down the center of those mm -hmm. forks. I guess that was from that original layout sketch, and it kind of goes to show that spending that extra time on that first layout sketch really has paid off. Wow, it's, it's coming down to it. Because, yeah, here one guy has one feature done, and the other one has a different feature done, and they're just yeah. kind of trading the last couple features. Yes, yes, indeed. This one is going to be really close. We're going to have our, our eyes on the chat. Uh, we see that both of our runners have recognized that we've got that larger hole going down to that smaller hole. So nobody yeah. got nobody got caught up on that one. That's good. And wow, look at these guys. They're both right there. We're going to really keep an eye on the chat here. Try and make sure that we don't miss an answer or slow anybody down. Watching the chat here. And it looks like uh, Dom has come in with an answer of 64 pounds, 64.1 pounds. That is not correct. That is not correct. So Dom is going to have to look at his model and see if he can't figure out what's going on with this model. Uh, Pedro coming in with an answer, 8.227 pounds. That is not correct. Not correct with intolerance. So now both of our runners have answered incorrectly one time. And now both of our runners can look through their models and see if they can't figure out uh, what went wrong with their model. Uh, we saw Dom Dom has now come in with a second answer, 8.38 pounds, and that is correct. Wow. Talk about neck and neck the whole time. This is what we wanted to see. This yes. is so cool. Wow, yeah. so close. Both of our runners. Pedro was right there in the ballpark, 8.227. Uh, Dom coming in with the correct answer. Of course, we saw Dom had the incorrect material at first, was still in plain carbon steel. He corrected that very quickly, came in with the right answer. Look at the chat lighting up for Dom. GG to Dom. Wow, wow, wow. One, one point to one point. Todd Becker is in the chat. What's up, Todd? Welcome, welcome. Great to see you in here. Thanks for joining us. Great guy. Wow. Guys, that was, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. One one to one in this battle. Good game to our winner. Let's go back to the wheel.